my girls, thank you for picking up the call. Listen, we have had a crazy, 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 crazy weekend. Woo child. But a good week, girl. Look, it's starting out to a good week. Just all my girls getting in here. Barb, y'all can come in here. Y'all act like y'all can't come in here. Okay, I want to just hop right into it. You know, Grammys just passed. <sighs> can we talk? Like, can we really talk really quickly, like, about the Grammy situation? Excuse me if I sound congested. It's because I am. It's raining crazy here in L.A., and my sinuses are having a beautiful time with it. First of all, I want to congratulate Megan. I do. I want to congratulate Megan. I'm so happy because it's historic, you know, to see a really good rap song that's just pure rap, no hook, no gimmicks. Well, <laughs> Depends how you feel. It could be a little gimmicky. However, it is a really good rap song, and it's number one on the charts. And now she now sits up here with Nicki Minaj, the queen of hip-hop, and Lauryn Hill, the goddess of hip-hop. And I think Megan is in good company also with Cardi B, too. My girl, Cardi B-sha. So here's the thing. I feel like there's a lot of hoopla right now about Megan's authenticity about going number one. And can she do it again without the beef? We're going to talk about that in two seconds. But I do want to talk about the Grammys, honey. Of course, Jay-Z standing up for his wife. That was my favorite part of the Grammys. And also the point being proven about what Jay-Z was talking about when Taylor Swift won Album of the Year. There's no way. And I just want to put this on record really quickly to my Swifties out there. Hey, y'all. Um, no shade against Taylor Swift at all. But I don't understand how she won Album of the Year. I really just don't. Because SOS was truly and is truly a album that was a cultural phenomenon that broke any barrier, any race, any ethnicity, any sexual orientation. It was just music and everybody was listening to it. And it resonated with a lot of people for different reasons. And I don't like the fact that, not saying that Taylor doesn't deserve her success, do not get me wrong, but to win four album of the years <laughs> when there's people out there that are making really, really good music. Not saying Taylor is not, making really, really good music that deserve also those those awards. And Beyonce, with her not winning, because I was like, wait, Harry's House won last year? That's crazy. Over Renaissance? That's wild, girl. No shade. Jay-Z, you ate that. Love you for that. But let's piggyback off of Jay-Z and Rock Nation really quickly, okay? So the girls were speculating. The girls were speculating that... <laughs> Oh, girl, this is crazy. The girls are speculating that it was some sabotagation that went on. So basically, the Grammys announced that uh, Nicki and Ice Spice won the, was it Best Hip Hop Performance or something like that? Forgot exactly the category. High off NyQuil, excuse me. Uh, well, DayQuil. So the announcer said somebody else, but the tweet said something else. But it only happened to Nicki. And they even, it went so far that Nikki even had, like, she won one award on the Grammys Awards on the Grammys uh, website. And that was all taken down immediately. It was almost like dangling a carrot in front of a horse's mouth. No pun intended. I was like, wait a minute. Did, did they really just do that? To prove a point? Oh, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This also lets me know that Nikki and Ice Spice would have won. They would have won. If maybe Nikki did not get on, you know, live and made a whole song about lying on your dead mama. I'm just being honest, Barbs. I'm being honest, you know? Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, okay? Like, let's take this, the stand-up out of it, because you know I'm, you know Nikki's my girl. But let's take the stand-up out of it. Politics, right? Because the thing is, music, the music industry, the music industry, the, the awards and all that, it's politics, honey. When I tell you it's politics, and I'm talking about for personal experience, the rooms, the girls, the, girl, the things I have heard and the people I have talked to, honey, I'm telling you, the Grammys and everything about the Academy in the sense of the music industry, really, it's politics. And you have to play the game. Why do you think when people are nominated for Grammys or Oscars or Tonys or Emmys, they're doing this press run, they're doing all these appearances, almost like a politician. How a politician, when they're nominated for like for a Democrat nomination or Republican nomination, how they travel and they're doing all these pop-ups and these meet and greets and these the rallies and all. That's what musicians and actors and 
you know, artists have to do. As as, as crazy as that beef was and is currently, because it's not over. It ain't over. I'm letting you know now it's not over, girl. But as crazy as that beef is, and Bigfoot was like this retaliation to hiss, right? How Megan kind of scathed through GP without being penalized, you know, through GP is by not mentioning any names. She didn't say not one name at all. Somebody just responded to it who they thought was who who they thought Megan was talking about. People have always had opinions about Nikki marrying her husband. Okay? Let's just be real here. So when Megan said what she said about Megan's law and Nikki and responded and the way she responded was, you know, lying on your dead mama, making a little song out of it on the on the on Bigfoot record. In my opinion, and my opinion, just knowing how the Grammys are political, I think deterred the decision. I think the Grammys were going to give Nikki her Grammy this time around. I really do think, I think from Super Freaky Girl all the way till now, she has been really good. You know, she hasn't really, she's been working really good with corporations. She was hosting the MTV VMAs. You know, she was really on a good roll. You know, Pink Friday 2 is the highest selling anything right now. <laughs> you know, it sold already a million copies. You know, it, Pink Friday 2 was a, is big, you know. Then, his came out. And it was all about how Nikki retaliated. And, you know, I'm sitting up here and I'm like, I'm, I'm conflicted because, you know, my, my stance is I have no horse in this race. Once again, no pun intended. I don't have a horse in this race, but I will say this. I'm conflicted because I am one of the people that's like, I love hip hop. I love hip hop. But when she talked about the dead mama, and, and I know some of my barbs are like, well, girl, she didn't say it like X, Y, and Z. But listen, mama, listen, friend, she still said it. And it was almost antagonizing in a sense. I don't think Jay-Z or Rock Nation had anything to do with the Grammy kind of messing up an uh, announcement only on Nicki's behalf. And also, shout out, uh, Ice Spice. Oh, poor baby. I know she was probably mad, girl. Ice Spice could have got her first Grammy. Ice Spice could have got her first Grammy if Nicki would have not, <laughs> you know, made Bigfoot the way she made Bigfoot. I don't know. The Grammy situation and the way they only made that mistake with Nicki Minaj is telling. And I know we sit up here and we key on Nicki about her. She on Twitter too much, talking too much. I agree. So I'm actually very happy she's quiet right now and rehearsing for her tour. You do that. Please, mama. Mm -mm. I know Nicki is always talking about, you know, she's targeted from the industry. I hope that maybe y'all seeing that happen in real time kind of gives you a, a sense of that she's not lying completely because they literally only did that to her. I've never seen the Grammys, Steve Harvey, a win when he had falsely announced the wrong winner. I've never seen the Grammys do that. In my opinion, the Grammys were trying to make a point to Nicki that we saw what you said about Megan and we don't like it. And we're going to almost publicly humiliate you to show you that. And that's just how I felt what happened. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I felt like the Grammys are trying to prove a point. I do. I really do feel like that. But let's talk about the number one record. Megan Hiss is number one. And I am so happy for Megan. I'm sorry. I really am. Because she's independent. She had to self-fund these things. I know she just signed a distribution deal with Warner, which I'm sure was very lucrative. However, she has so many odds built against her. Megan does. Megan has a lot of odds against her. A lot of naysayers. And can I just be real? I think that Megan's talent is going to always prevail. That's just how I feel. I want to start off with that. I think Megan's talent is going to always prevail over any hoopla that is out there. Because we can't sit up here, yes, my baby makes the same song, kind of, every other song. She has the same flow. I do want some switch up happening. However, comma, the pen is pinning. And you can't neglect nor deny the impact she has had on female hip hop. You just can't. I'm, and I, I feel like we are letting... Whatever you feel personally about her, take away her talent. And I don't like that. On the flip side of this coin. <laughs> on the flip side of this coin, girl. I want to make sure I say this right. I think people are getting this confused. The situation with Nikki. With Nikki responding and making it a moment. Uh-huh. Oh, you can say what you want. You can say what you want. But Nikki get on that live that night. That same night. And making Bigfoot trend. And... Uh, get on your good foot and then making the song Bigfoot made his the moment that it is. 
We can sit up here and we argue all day in the comments if you would like. But I'm not saying, but I'm not saying, Barb's before y'all be like, yeah, 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 C, 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 C. No, 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 no. Calm down. I'm not saying that if Nikki did not respond, she would not have had a successful record. I'm not saying that at all. Because it could have been successful without Nikki responding, for sure. Absolutely. I, I, I agree with that. And I believe that. However, comma, girl, the thing about good marketing, okay, okay, I don't even know if this was in Megan's strategy, and if it is, bitch, I live for you if it was, I live for you for baiting Nikki, I live for you, because you, the thing is, you gotta be smart, she played the game, and the only reason why I live for it is because Nikki has done it to everybody else before today. And, and I said this in my original video, Nikki just got served her own, her own medicine. No shade. And that's all that happened. That's all that happened. Nikki is notoriously known for making hit records off a of bitch, of bitch trying to diss her. Girl, please. So the fact that Megan did it back and got a number one record out of it, she ate that. She ate that. However, you cannot sit up here and tell me that Nikki responding brought more hype to the hiss movement. And also, it made people that already doesn't like Nikki have a reason to bandwagon. And the thing about the internet is we love to bandwagon. And this is somebody that I have watched it happen to me and happen to other people. When one person don't like something and it gets a lot of attention, a lot of people just bandwagon and say, yeah, I don't like her either. I don't like him either. I don't like that either. I don't just like that. And then now it just fuels something. People love to hate. And I, I, I say this all the time. People love something to hate. That is the best marketing strategy. When you hate someone or hate something, you pay close attention to it. When Nikki kind of already messed up the GP Nikki hasn't been in the good grace of the GP. When I say GP, general public, Mick, and, these are, and when I say general public, these are people that don't pay attention to Nikki or Megan all the time. They're just casual listens to music. Nikki has already had an iffy relationship with the GP since like the Queen era. No shade. It's been off and on. You know, you know, the GP mess with her for one minute, then she say something, and the GP don't mess with her. That whole line on your dead mama thing really slid. Really did something to Nikki's public reputation it really did you can say you didn't you can sit up here and and try to say it didn't but it did it really did because what it did was push more of people onto megan's side to be like you know what not even megan's side let me not let me rearrange that it pushed people more to what megan had to say on her record but also let me say this too it's not only because nikki responded that it got a lot more hype it's because and i, and I stand 10 toes on this heel it's because megan had a fully realized vision already with a full music video a full rollout a full concept realized and then a full song that's hitting the bars are reading and it's not all about Nicki Minaj at all actually it was really about a lot of other people too but those other people didn't respond because they know better even if Nicki didn't respond his would have done something would have been number one no not in my opinion not in my opinion and that's just my opinion you can have a different opinion we ain't gotta fight we can still be friends on that opinion okay you know okay I don't think so. But because of the hoopla that happened, it was a big mess on the internet. And that's called impressions. It gets you impressions. Impressions. It gets you streams and clicks to go listen to what people are talking about. So let me go listen to his real quick. Oh, I like this. Oh, Megan, you can rap. You did that. Let's push Megan up. And then, oh, now Nikki talking about her dead mama. Oh, girl. Okay. So let's, let's, let's really push Megan up. That's what happened. And... Megan benefited by not saying anything back to Nikki when she talked about her mom or the Bigfoot situation. You know, Megan subtly responds in a live, you know, how she put the Hennessy, she put the straw back on her Hennessy bottle. She did do that. She also, how she always say, shout out to my mama and big capital letters when she wins, when, when something is doing, when his is doing well. How Kellen can sit up here whispering <laughs> on live because Nikki was whispering at the end of her... Uh, record. I live for that. I'm sorry, but I keyed. I keyed, girl. I keyed. If y'all keying on her, if y'all keying on Nikki like that, and if you know, you know. When making went number one, I fully expected Nikki to hop on live or something and be like, you know, do too much. And I'm so happy Nikki did not. I'm happy Nikki paid it. Because at the end of the day, you know, back to my original question, did Megan, did Nikki lose to Megan in a sense? I don't want to say she lost. Because Nikki is legend. Nikki is legend. Nikki's not going to lose to Megan anytime soon. She lost this battle, though. I will say that. She has not lost the war. 
You know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? I'm excited to see what Megan's next record is. I'm excited to see Nicki go on tour. I don't think this war is over at any means, but I will say I think Megan won this round. Megan won this round. And that's just what it is, girl. To try to tear down her win by, well, if, you know, Nikki gave her that. Nikki helped. Oh, Nikki definitely helped. And if anybody says different, y'all at least a little delusional. Nikki definitely helped. She brought more hype to it. But Megan's intentions as far as the product that she already served up was bound to do something regardless. No shade. Meg, uh, Megan's product was going to do something. It was going to shake something. So... I think Nikki definitely helped to hit number one, but I definitely don't think that it was successful only due to Megan. I mean, due to Nikki. All right, Tyler's Army, thank you for picking up this call. I just want to make a nice little call real quick to see where y'all head is at with this whole situation. To kind of, you know, I know we've been talking about Megan and Nikki this whole entire, for a week straight now, but I wanted to kind of wrap it all up with Megan going number one. I felt like that was the final stamp of she won this, she won this round. Let's see what happens next. Let's see who strikes next and what happens next? I'm excited to watch. I love Nikki. I love Megan. I'm proud of both ladies. I hope Nikki just puts all her work, all her all her focus back into the art and makes something amazing to come back. And it don't even have to be a complete shot at Megan. Don't make a full disc record if you don't want to, but I know the subliminals will be there, girl. And Megan may have started a whole trend. You know, Megan is the... She's that girl. So it seems like Lotto's coming up with her own little diss record girl against Ice Spice on Friday. Should I come back and talk about it? I'm interested to see what that's about, girl. What's that about? <laughs> Not Lotto trying to have her hits moment, girl. We shall see. All right, Tyler Zami, I love you, bitch, for picking up my call as always. And woo-cha, I'll call y'all back soon. <laughs> Bye, Arby. Bye.